Unscripted, and welcome to Tuesday, but not just any Tuesday, it is SCW Tuesday Night Turbo, yes! And we are just a one week away from the pay-per-view to find out if Greatness Era can have their own individual show and begin the hostile takeover. But tonight, we are going to see what it's going to be. We're going to see if ZC and SCW can actually compete with them. Last night, SC and ZCW, with their combined forces, they actually did really, really well. But tonight is another night. It's a different time. And it's ready to get it on. Opening match starts. Three, two, one. Pay-per-view on Tuesday. Pay-per-views in this show are all week long. So Monday through Thursday is all the pay-per-view. We ended up with we end up with something like 30 matches every pay-per-view. So you can't do that in one night. I don't have the stamina for that. Just ask my three and a half girlfriends, uh, my nine fiancés, my 16 wives, uh, my 13th widowers, uh, nine side chicks and side sheep. Uh, oh shit, yes you can! Uh, yeah, I'm not stuck in the snow. You're not stuck in the snow? What? Uh, sup, everybody? Good to see everybody out there. Uh, good, I'm not alone, you assless chaps. Lady Bell's lolling. That's right, definitely and true. So, Mr. Red Walrus right there is representing GE. You've got Tandis with his arms folded like a sassy dad, like, you know what you did. Now go get some damn magic erasers and get that crayon off the wall. And of course, DMK over there. Tandis, hey, what's going on, buddy? How'd you know you were wrestling right meow? Uh, you Muslim, you die and wake up to nine virgins, huh? No, it was uh, 75 Virginians. Uh, <laughs> Fable, Las Vegas. What's going on, Fable? I'm in a better mood tonight. Uh, sick babe, present ready. Thank God, Spock. Uh, yeah, that's why you need a fireplace in every main room. Well, Fallen, we can't, we can't all live in the height of luxury. Hey, wifey. Oh, Fable, call me wifey. Oof. Killer Matt, hanging out, buddy. Fable, are you sure? Probably not. Red Walrus, definitely the muscle and second in charge of the Greatness Era. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I'll try and watch my Pajone is buffering bad. Man, I hate it when my Pajone is buffering bad. Um, you, you need to go down to the Pajone store and get your new Pajone. He was a little salty. I was very salty yesterday. I don't like time change. I don't like time change. It pisses me off, makes me upset, and ain't irritable. And, and then, of course, Dan Froze like, make coffee out of nowhere. And V-Twin's like, I'm not listening. Just was not a good night. Cranky Nerdy is fun nerdy, though. <laughs> no, no. Ranty Nerdy is fun. Speaking of ranty, the man who can bring it out more than anybody, Mr. D-M-K. Dark Magic Knight coming to the ring wearing the colors of ZCW because he is fighting on Showtime's team. Who likes it? Run in ringside, please. I, I wish I could do that. If I could actually do that, like like hidden in there, I just push like the circle button and all of a sudden somebody random runs in, I would do it. That'd be amazing. We're gonna say in Canada, no, don't a Buddha do it. Yes, exactly. Um, it's just the forest life. You need that shit. Oh, that's true. That's true. Pokes nerdy. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Oh, no. Here comes Fable Vixen's hand. Oh, God. E.T.? Elliot. Oh, thanks, Vixen. I feel better now. Uh. <laughs> and here he is. Fear the beard. Mr. Tandis fam right now. Actually getting the watch from his Pajon. Um, that is actually the Dollar General's version of the iPhone. It's the Pajon phone. Representing SCW, that is Team Lady Bells. <laughs> E.T. is trash. <laughs> Tandis. He looks small, but he is a damn bulldozer when it comes to getting it getting it done tonight. I follow Angel Tandis fixes Spock and all. Spock and all! Shut your dirty mouth, Vixen. <laughs> Sorry about the coffee, eh? I would have turned him into the government. First chance I had. So, uh, Vixen, what's your alien of choice, though? If you're going to stumble across an alien to 
to keep away from the government, who's your alien? And that goes for everybody else, by the way, not just Fable Vixen, because she's here and uh, uh, straightened her hair today. Here we go. First fall to a finish. It is Extreme Rules. DMK pissing off the Red Walrus early. Takes a clothesline to the face. Uh, Navi. Duh. What the hell's a Navi? Navi. Oh, and Tannis takes down the referee just because he can. Red Walrus snap suplex right there on it. Alf. See, Spock is thinking outside of the box. Walrus for the win. A with his maple leaf. Red Walrus throwing his entire body weight into Tannis. You got to take him down. My alien of choice is the queen alien because she's a homicidal bitch from Avatar. That's not... You're better off with Alf. <laughs> Avatar. Avatar is trash, okay? Don't at me. Roger from American Dad. Oh, hell no. Dude, do you know how much of a pain in the ass Roger would be in real life? No. No. They're aliens! I guess they're aliens, but no. Ah. Five oh, the hell, just a lot of at me's. <laughs> On Pandora, humans are the aliens. Thanks, Spock. Thanks for clarifying that. <laughs> no, no. Fable went there, captured her, put her in a little pocket, and then drove back here, and now she's got a little Navi. Red Walrus is down. Tanda sliding them DMs as DMK has got a kendo stick, and Tanda doesn't take kindly to kendo sticks. He's working on his pajone. And now here comes Tandis again. Lady Bells, who do you got to win this match tonight? Who do you think's gonna win it? That's impossible because they're huge. You're a seven foot tall monster to which there is no escape. What do you mean they're huge? Gosh. Lady Bells says Tandis. I wonder why. Close on up over and out. Tandis taking the fight to Red. Red says, nah, I wanna fight inside the ring. The canvas is soft on my on my Canadian skin. Flip! Psh. And now, Red Walrus takes him down both, and looking for the referee, perhaps. Greatness Era shows no mercy. Kick to the back and misses. Forearm to the back. Two minutes here, and I'm already triggered. Well, let's be honest. I mean, would you have it any other way? Like, I think Alf is probably the best one. Alf is very docile. He's not going to cause a lot of trouble. Like, I mean, you got to keep him from the government, but just feed him cats, and you're good. I like Avatar. You look like a dude who would like Avatar, Dan. I was triggered when I saw the, the stream started. Damn it, Cellophane. Lame. Well, that's because you're not old enough to know what ALF was. Tannis. No. Tannis and DMK squaring off. And look at the bitch smack right there. Red Walrus with the takedown. I mean, uh, DMK with the takedown. Red Walrus is marching to the turnbuckles. Hey, Silo. Trying to take the big man off the feet. No, no, he can't. You'll have no idea who Elf is. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Red Walrus smartly getting outside the ring. <laughs> Fable. That was beautiful. Double underhook DDT from Tannis to DMK. Alf was essentially Roger, uh, but not as edgy. True. Vixen is triggering my nostalgia nerd rage. Alf is an uh, awesome show. Uh-oh. DMK's... Oh, no. Just hung him up to dry. Kick to the gut. DMK going for the pin. ZCW one. Tandis. Raise your hand if you can whistle. Roger shit's cold though. Eh, it's not worth it. Folding up the legs. Knee breaker. Gordon Schwimmy. What? So he'd be better than. No. You don't watch that show apparently. Quick takedown there to Red. One, two. Oh, damn. Listen. Smell that? Uh. <laughs> and he has lots of wigs. What do you know about wigs? I still have an Alf stuffed mini doll from the early 90s. Do 
you smell that barbecue championship? Oh, gee there, hey, Fallen. Am I the guy that's in your shelf collection? Huh? Is a little old elf? Huh? Little old elf in your collection, man. There goes Nerdy. Uh, Alf, Anacron for Alien Life Orb. There you go. If Roger sends you to meet his friends, it's just going to be him in a wig. <laughs> Alf's real name is Gordon Schwartz. I did not know that. I, uh, that thing is freaking hideous. The nose looks like a peen. Well, why do you think Fallen Angel likes it so much? Tanda's taking them both down. Going for the pin on red. One. Does anybody have any of JR barbecue sauce? I don't, but you need to get some and pour it on that title, dude. That would be great. That would be great. Killer Matt, only here to watch himself wrestle. He is a narcissist. That's why he looks like the Zohan. Ooh, belly to belly inside the ring. Wish it wasn't an L, an, uh, a knockoff. Yours is a knockoff? Alf ate cats. Yes, 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 he did. Thank heavy D dropping facts tonight. Oh, we love it when Heavy D dropping facts tonight. Red Walrus up top. DMK's down. Tannis doing girl push-ups. No! Red Walrus, 500 pounds, crashing to the ground. Uh, no comment. <laughs> oh, I know you. Red using his power against DMK. Look at this, making him smell the twat crotch. Ooh, hellacious power bump. But here comes Tandis. So I definitely need my mod back. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Tan uh, Red's out on his feet. Tandis with a quick takedown of DMK. Red Walrus isn't moving. And the ref goes down too. Wow. Tandis gives no damn dams. I would never. I would sad face never. I was a mod on one. What? Tandis with that perfect power bomb. Uh, I'm sorry, Fable Vixen. We're not taking questions. Ref is down. Red Walrus is down. Jawjacker from DMK representing SCW tonight. Lady Bell's in attendance. Showtime's not here. I'm torn between going to school for a realistic career or going effing YOLO and dive all in my creative pursuits. How, uh, what, what's your age range, Silophane? I don't remember how old you are. Okay. Okay, Stone Cold, calm down. Oh, hell yeah! DMK, he's got a hurt back. Got a hurt back. Look at this Samoan drop, perfectly planted. Red Walrus just seething, looking to hit the tusk on anybody and everybody. Punch to the gut. Roll through. Look at this. God, chicken wing German. Rolls over DMK. Tandis is down. Spread Eagle. One. Two! DMK is still in it. Um, I'm... I'm so... So your old. So your old? I don't speak that. Uh, Fable Vixen, translate. Germans, look at this. Ooh, Red Waller's taking it for the spin. Psh, that's not old. 38, I'm salsa old. Uh, I can... Can I burn your Raiders hat? Please? Absolutely not. Fallen. Tan is trying to pick up a quick win as DMK is still down. Sliding through to see you too. What's going on, Jay Dynamite? How you doing, buddy? How you doing? It's awesome seeing Lola tonight, dude. It's awesome seeing Lola. I miss getting to watch her shows. How are you doing, dude? I'm sorry, Fab. We're not taking questions. Tandis with a takedown too. Close. It's a special type of language. It's beyond you. It has to be. Man... So 38, and you want to do, if, if it was going to be me, if it was going to be me answering that question, Cellophane, if I'm 38 years old, pretty much by 38, you know where you are in life. Like in your 20s, you don't know what things are and stuff. You think you do, but you don't. But around 38, you definitely know your, your ballpark. I, I say go for what you want to do, dude. You do what you want to do. That's the way to do it. Yep, babe. Faithful Vixen Broncos all day. Oh, look at the little horsies. It's so cute, little horsies. On the outside. Look at that release. Suplex. Spin. Unknown soldier. Pick up the spin. Uh, creative. My life is calling, to be honest. That's what I said. 
Big Facts 22 over here. Wait, what? Uh, but, 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 my hand is raised, girl, yes. <laughs> it's my time now. We'll get you in a second. I think, I want to say I owe Spock one from last night. Because I, I think we're, we were in the barbecue championship. I didn't get it done. Red Walrus taking DMK for a ride. Jay Dynamite, thank you so much for stopping in, buddy. Always great to see you. Thanks, Dan. Making films, writing stories. Two! Tannis with a super save. Uh, acting and the like. I say go for it, dude. Follow your dream. Tandis! Down! Tusk! 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 One! Two! Three! Red! Walrus! Wins! Horsey? More like beautiful, majestic beast? I don't know. Mm. Damn it! Lady Bells looking at her future as the Greatness Era slowly takes over every single show. Head pointed to the floor and I'm moonwalking out the door. Good to see you, buddy. Have a great night, man. Tell him, Fable. Uh, I'm still 1-0 and up against Walrus. Fight me! <laughs> then you throw up the phrase emotes. <laughs> I knew Walrus would win. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll take Vixen in a match. Still FA man getting big for his britches because he won two matches. Uh, would anybody else care to step up to the plate and be like, oh, yeah, that's right. They also beat me, him, him, her, 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 him, him, her, her, her. I, I, that's everybody. They beat everybody. Duel! <laughs> Red Ball, it's your winner. Killer Matt, I owe you a ball spin, my friend. I owe you a ball spin. How do you like it? Left to right or right to left? All right, Zohan, here you go, buddy. Ah, no ball. I want two matches. Ooh, two matches. Look at him. Everybody look at him. Everybody look at him. Isn't he cute? Insta fame man, cute. Oh, you just wanna, you just wanna pick him up and cuddle him. Good match, Tandis. You did great, dude. You did great. How, how's your pajon? And I want a title. True. 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 Oh, it's under D. Oh, shit. Here we go. Match number two. Whee! You have no balls. Tenth time, zero balls. Killer cutie, good to see you. Looks at cellophane. <laughs> he I. <laughs> I refuse to look. That cellophane is way too transparent. <laughs> cellophane man representing ZCW. Purple Army representing SCW. And of course, dead center. Your greatness era. Founding member, Mr. Dr. Upper Decker. Good to see you, Killer Cutie. How's your night going? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? That's right. Ringside won a championship just last night in a impromptu main event I would want to say it was um, I'm gonna commit a live and now what don't you break your wrist noob jerking yourself off now Wait, what I am so confused okay what the hell is unknown soldier talking about what the hell is fallen talking about been grinding the fuck out of red that's right you got it on PC coming to the ring. What? Mr. Dr. Robert Decker, aka Heroes and Villains, representing the Greatness Era. CM Punk! Wait, you declined? You declined to answer my question? I don't understand. What? 
So how it, what differs Red Dead on PC versus um, a console? What? Not too much, I got you. I'm just blind as you just see the screens in my face. I got you. Mr. Cellophane Man over there in the chat was just hashtag bragging that he has beaten Red Walrus in the PlayStation, bruh. And tonight, fully dressed in the garb of ZCW, he's looking to take out the third founding member, Dr. Upper Decker. Can he do it? Oh God, Dad, she can't read. Look at this loser with his pla with his bat and plastic wrap. Let's go, bro. Flamethrower. Sorry, not sorry. So let's talk about pineapples on pizza. Why do you like pineapples on pizza? ZC Dub, ZC Dub. That's right, ringside. ZC Double Um, Double Um. He looks like the kind of guy who can't manage his money. He's always hungry at the end of the pay period. <laughs> that is so specific. Mr. Purple Army from Scotland. And yes, the beard is real. And yes, he's also wearing it traditional means there is nothing on underneath that kilt. Don't call it a dress. He will punch your lights out. Oot for you Canadians. Freaking Hawaiian pizza is delicious. So, man, I feel personally attacked. <laughs> Hashtag ramen. Hand up. All right, here we go. Three-way dance again and again. Red, purple, and blue-gray. Because somewhere gray, somewhere blue. It's, it's just the way to, to throw it up a little bit. Liswitz wears both. <laughs> then we are the same, my sister. Uh-oh, Cellophane Man started to start a cult. Also, Cellophane taking down Dr. Upper Decker. It is a member that he is yet to beat. I'm telling you, pound for pound, win for win. Upper Decker lost one match at the previous pay-per-view. That's it. He only lost one. Uh, black duct tape is not traditional. No, no, he's not. He's no. Ooh, I love cults. We'll put up the nerd circle then. Purple Army passes out the Kool-Aid. What flavor? Purple Army getting belly to belly. Heavy D style right on the SCW logo. Dead center. And here comes Cellophane with the big boot to Heroes' face. Red. Red Kool-Aid. There you go. Red is acceptable Kool-Aid. I would always accept uh, purple and... Um, arsenic. <laughs> He's got a sledgehammer! Oh, no! I thought he was going to go for the gut, but it seems like he missed. Lemon. I was going to say lemon, but if you're going to go lemon, you might as well do uh, Country Time. Never the blue. I agree. Never the blue Kool-Aid. No. Green Kool-Aid is refreshing. Spock! Welcome back. Purple Army hanging heroes out to dry. Sends him back inside. The blue ain't bad. It's alright. Blood? Just kidding. Mmm, blood Kool-Aid. Look at that gut wrench power bomb. Jawjacker, a silly man, just taking a quick breather, running, lariat, leg drop, no caught him, ooh, kick to the inside thigh. I put up a nerd circle because I wanted to, not because you told me to. Sir Pizza, too sweet, baby. How you doing, buddy? Cherry is the best, though. Cherry is the best. Cherry and fruit punch. Fruit punch Kool Aid's hard to beat. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'll fight you. Hey, Pizza. What's going, Browser Keys? Play. Browser player keeps refreezing up. It's a you thing. By the end of this, he'll be Dr. Underdecker. Ooh, that's their pizza. All right, you want to fight him on my way? 
Fruit Punch. Look at they're both rolling out together. Purple Army, the only one standing, looking in the ring for something dastardly. Dastardly. And what does he take? A handful of nothing. They're all going to bat on the outside. Look at the ooh, back and forth. Who can get in and out the fastest? I can. It's me. It's me. How you doing tonight, sir, pizza? How's Mrs. Pizza? Thanks for reaching out to me today. I really appreciate it. What are you talking about? That's, I don't know what you're talking about. Not a clue. Not a clue. Quick chop block going for the pin. One. Just a one count. Lady Bell's still here. Cheering on her team. Lady Bell's is team red. So if a man going for a quick hug. No purple army doesn't hug. They don't hug in Scotland. Caught him. Got Dr. Decker up. No. Kitchen sink. Hero smartly getting the hell out of the ring. A Silphi man battling with Harpole. Oh, nobody loves his friends. What are you talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. They don't hug. They swap kilts. Damn. No, they, they, just, they just flip up kilts. No, Jizzbot, leave me alone. <laughs> Heavy D, Team Lean Pocket Board. Hey, what? Let's see. Oh, wow. Upper Decker takes down Purple. Go for the pin. One, two, three. Upper Decker. That's two back to back wins for the greatness era. Viva la Belle Zuglouvio. Listy, you never seen them. Hand over the caber. Boo! I mean, you did lose the match. I mean, he didn't pin you, but you did lose the match. It counts as an L on your on your record. Dizam! Boo! Oh, Fallen Angel finally put a cohesive sentence together. Boo! Something remains behind closed curtain, Spock. Thank you. Nerdy, look up Caber Toss. Oh, the Caber Toss. I, I didn't know what you're talking about. You just threw up Caber in general. Yeah, the Scottish games, the Highland games. Jizzy has some control up his sleeve. Hang on. Gold Bond. You gotta keep it near, I'm just saying. PS is controlled by his mind. Puppy control! My wifey always has cohesive sentences. Not tonight she don't. Uh, you just don't know how to read. Fight me, sassy mattress! Dr. Upper Decker, you're a winner. So glad the greatest song didn't come on. Damn. I'm just gonna keep it right here. Keep it right here. We can make it come on. I have the power. I have the power. Whoa. Here we go. I did accept it. Hey, it's my day off. <laughs> I can put up whatever I want. Someone hold my beer. What did the color of your name change? Where'd you go? Mattress of the universe. <laughs> do not lay on that. Do not lay on the mattress of the universe. I'm telling you right now. Do not do it. Mrs. Walrus for the winnie. Canadian leaf. Dan Frode. Dan Frode doing Dan Frode things. All right, here we go. <laughs> Just the type of guy that uses a public flashlight. <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, Los Angeles Chargers for the win. Showtime. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> A public flashlight. That's funny. Did you make that up? That's brilliant, cellophane. Damn. I've never heard that before. Ah. Uh, that that tickled my funny prostate. I don't know. Raise his hand. Yes, Fable Vixen. We're taking questions now. Here she comes. Oh, I my brain is so stuck on that. I just, for some reason, man, I just pictured like like taped to a, like a telephone booth or a, a telephone pole or something. Just kind of just. <laughs> Made my night that you laughed. Dude, I've never heard that before, but my mind just instantly went out the window. What's going on, Progressive? How you doing, man? I already posted my question. Sassy Mattress. Mrs. Red Walrus. Dominant part of the greatness era. Oh, man. When a man has his urges and he needs some way to satisfy then you want to jump up in here and just bring it down and testify um why does she look like Talia valkyrie i don't know ask the canadian dude that married her and beers and cheers to you sir pizza what's going on showtime how you doing tonight okay never mind <laughs> Yes, I will, everything. Representing SCW and Lady Bells, it is Jinxie. I know a couple people are kind of shocked to see Jinxie in this standpoint. Jinxie has never held a championship on her own, or in tag team form for that matter. Yet she finds herself part of the team. It's very interesting. Uh, she just happened to be at the right place at the right time and pinned the right damn team. Apparently, ducks eat for free at Subway. I did not know that. <laughs> if I went to that, I would have much order. I would have ordered a much larger sandwich. <laughs> Let me get the steak fajita sub. Don't bother ordering it up. It's for a duck. <laughs> Bravo, sir, pizza. I uh, can't think of nothing else. Turn his back on his best friend if he puts her down. Oh, damn it, Spock! Wrong song. What is the end goal of NXT? Invading Raw or SmackDown? Is it gonna stop after Survivor Series? It seems really lame to me. I don't like, I don't think it makes sense because half the people at NXT is attacking are NXT people just of the past. I agree with you, Progressive, it's stupid, but what they realize is the hottest thing on wrestling right now is NXT and AEW. People don't really like Raw. And SmackDown is only big because it's on Fox, and people are like, okay, we'll check it out. And they know that they need the NXT guys that are not run by Vince to bring the damn angles, so I agree with you. But yeah, more than likely, um, yes, it'll stop ever. Yeah, I, I believe so too. I, I believe soon after Survivor Series, it'll stop because they want that three-way thing, kind of like the way they did with ECW, Raw, and SmackDown in, what, 2007? Something like that. 4D <laughs> 400 billion dollars they must really love that show Miss Red for the win Mrs. Red fallen angel in her assless chaps she's actually wearing those right now at home standing out in the snow she doesn't feel cold she doesn't feel pain kind of like how Champa joined on the raid and he's still feuding with um with you, ENXT War Games, I don't get that one. Nobody does. You want a cohesive, awesome storyline? Watch this show. You want to see people who get paid really, really well to be held back with their talent? Go watch WWE. Go away, baby. What the what, sir? Pizza, you pulling for greatness here now? Boy, I'll tell you what. He's a sucker for a Canadian. What can I say? He lives in Ontario. Sliding in the MDMs. Coming back after Mrs. Red. Oh, Mrs. Red getting hit from the back by Jinxie. What the hell was that, Charlotte Flair? What the hell was that? I was about to say, I want my paycheck. 
No paycheck here. No paycheck here. You have to do push-ups for paycheck. GE earned pizza respect at the Galactic Championship. Oh, damn. Listwitz talking smack. Quick head drag takedown into a headlock, and Jinxie's just going to watch it. Jinxie should know how to get this done tonight. Quick takedown. Just saying, I like her outfit. Reminds me of Z Z Xena or Xenon? Xeon? Xenon? Uh, I'm actually really ecstatic about AEW in general, even more so than NXT. Is that bad? You're you're on the level, Progressive. You're with most people. AEW's new and it's fresh, and people like it. They they like the they like the way that they're playing it, and they also know the the backstory behind WWE, and it kind of makes people hate it a little bit more. The fact that they're independent contractors, yet they can only wrestle for WWE, <clears throat> whereas AEW is not. AEW, you get a paycheck there. You can go to New Japan. You can go to um, uh, Lucha Underground. You can go wherever you want and still come to AEW. So people know the backstory behind it, so it changes the game for people watching wrestling. The the curtains the curtains have been pulled back for, for what, 15, 20 years, really. Ever since the Attitude Era sort of stopped, people like, okay, we know it's fake, and it's hard to get brought back into it but AEW gives a spark to people watching the wrestling so you're on the thing is hunter scared no hunter's not scared hunter's biding his time hunter is fan xena represents the ring more than disney's xenon not picking it up man not picking it up i may be pronouncing it right xeon i don't know i can't picture it i'm waiting for a damn link you guys love links in here. Oh, I can't wait to lose. Yes, yeah, Zena, thank you. Oh, Fallen just twat kicked Jinxie. Oh my God, does she know no bounds? Fallen just wanted to do it. She should go backstage and smell the shoe. The hell, Fallen. Getting the hell out of the ring, just rolling, rolling, rolling to the other side as Mrs. Red picks up the pieces on the damn injured Jinxie. Poor Jinxie. Was there a connection with her show, TV, and Hercules? Uh, yeah, yeah, they crossed over. Fallen, setting up Jinxie the outside as Mrs. Red's down on the outside. Looking for the superplex. Twat kick, it was! Go back and watch the tape. Superplex! Mrs. Fallen gives no dams about her body. She will do whatever it takes to get the job done to prove that she is the damn best. Taking down Jinxie, taking down Mrs. Red. Zoom, 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 make my heart go boom, 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 supernova go. Yeah, zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Just twat your kick. <laughs> Just kick your twat. That's what it was. I should have said that. Never mind, whatever. Fallen. Playing with Mrs. Red. Mrs. Red tripping over her own damn shoelaces as Jinxie's contemplating life. Um, what would it do to WWE if they started allowing wrestlers to travel to wrestle to other promotions and still to WWE. Would that be harmful for WWE? I can see how it would be. The wrestlers would be earning more money. Check, baby, check, baby, one, two. <laughs> An internet, an internet, an internet tech. That's hard to say. An internet tech comes Friday to fix the this private hell. I'm sorry, buddy. Fallen, going off the ropes after Mrs. Red with that super heel kick. Jinx is down the outside, going for the pin on that table. Ref not in position. One, two. Oh, I was about to call it. I was about to call the win. Oh, fallen last second. Misses Superfly Red Walrus and Jinxie. What the hurricane run out of nowhere? Quick takedown into that armbar. Mrs. Red trying to make Jinxie tap. Jinxie's fighting back. No. No submission. Close on takedown. Brings another one. Big heel kick. Now Jinxie. Oh, Jinxie doesn't know what to do. She's going up top. Mrs. Red stirring. Nobody's caring about falling from the top. Oh, she caught her with a double 
Double knees to the face. I challenge Liswitz to a backstage, to a back of the stage match. Oh, damn, Sir Peach, did you get a thesaurus to be able to put that sentence out? They give you some good drugs, bro? To a back of the stage match. <laughs> damn, you're so adorable. Back of the stage match. Turn into Mario. Go for the pin. One, two. Oh, back on the stage, you match. Can you answer that question, please? Um, what was the question? <laughs> Heavy D. Here's an answer. I think a man's sudden and unexpected attraction to a woman, which wears off as suddenly as unexpected as it came on to, leaving him wondering what he was thinking. Non-title only pizza. I gave you respect for your earlier match. Even tag with you for the holiday tags. That's true. No way that happens, WE. Go for the pin! Two! Wow! Wow! Three back-to-back -back wins for the Greatness Era. Three! Count them, three! Uh, but they, to answer your question, Progressive, seriously, no. Absolutely not. Vince would never allow it because he loses money that way by hiring them and keeping them privatized independent contractor. He doesn't have to pay their health insurance. Anytime they're injured, he doesn't have to worry about that. And he doesn't have to worry about them going somewhere else and making somebody else's money. So when he hires Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins is his. And Seth Rollins has to pay for all his expenses, his hotel, his travel, his insurance, and everything. And Vince makes money off of Seth. By opening it up, Vince technically loses money. It's a smart business, but it's a terrible business for the wrestlers inside of it, which is why people want to leave and they're waiting for the contract to be up, a.k.a. John Moxley. <laughs> I answered it. I answered it. Lady Bells, a little sad. Um, the wrestlers also pay their own travel. What did I say? But you said that when I posted it. Uh-huh. Well, damn it. <laughs> Hit Jinx with my finisher and Mrs. Red Steel's one. Yep. Yep, she do. She do. Mrs. Red wins. Three back-to-back -back greatness errors. All right, Sir Pizza would like a backstage match with Listwitz because, well, let's be honest. Sir Pizza had a rough damn day today. He had a rough day today. And he wants a little bit of damn redemption. A little bit of damn redemption. So you got to go easy on him, Listy. Here we go. Uh, rigged. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Let's be honest, Progressive. You've never joined a single show on Twitch and somebody has sang your entire comment. That's a first. You should write that down and put in the analogs of your history. Like, when you're 96 years old and you're going through your memories with your great-great-grandchildren and be like, All right, gather around, little children. Here's me at the Eiffel Tower. And here's me at the world's first rocking chair. And here's the first time somebody sang my comment. Thank you, nerdy. Uh, let's see here. I even let you get some shots in on PS Bra Pizza. <laughs> now no freebie shots. No pain, no pain, no pain. Here we go. Backstage brawl list with Sir Pizza. Sir Pizza looking fly tonight with that open chest hair. At least it wasn't the nudie effect. <laughs> if only Fable Vixen understands it. She does not. I think you were teasing me. Uh, so why would it take so why would I take that as special treatment? I'm just saying. I don't sing everybody's comment. Just the people that I like. Uh, okay, here we Elbow to the face. Go easy. I don't ask any math questions, listen. We're still going bowling and going to Denny's after this. Bowling, 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 strike. Bowling, 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 strike. See, if I still did YouTube parody songs, I would do that one. List Wits looking to put the white fancy dancy shoes. He paid $7,000 for those shoes. Just a perk of joining the greatness era. 
How's the storyline going to be after this pay-per-view? Hmm. Well, to be honest, Ringside, um, so what's at stake at this pay-per-view? And th this is all this is all real. Bre we're going outside the kayfabe walls, huh. right? This is real. Crucifix! Power bomb on the cement! Sir Pizza going all out to the big man. So, if Greatness Era wins the most matches at the pay-per-view, they get to choose their own show. Basically, we lose Monday Night Zoo, Tuesday Night Turbo, uh, Wednesday uh, Night, whatever the hell it is, or Thursday Blitz. Greatness Era will choose one of those, and it'll be an all-Greatness Era show if they win. But if they don't win, it's going to alter it. So we've got a crossroads here. It, it, I don't know. I, I don't know which way it's going to go because we haven't done the pay-per-view yet. We have to wait for that Archangel to pick a direction. If they win, then they start their own company, basically. And if they lose, then it's just going to be hell. So, yeah, we don't know. I don't plan... I, I'll put it to you this way. I don't plan my future storylines too far in advance because the game has other ideas. I can't get too far ahead. I've got ideas. I've got things that, like, that I would like to put into the storylines. But if the game doesn't cooperate, then I can't do it. You know what I mean? So anyway. Pretty sure pizza was out fl flamingo dancing before this. Hell yeah, baby. Uh, Listy problems 88 times 63. What? Uh, I'm pizza version of John Travolta. You kind of are. Do you know how many albino pleathers had to die for those shoes? Uh, I'm like one of those few who's been in three companies. Ultimate free agent, that's true. I'll never conform to the lameness era blish. The game is your writer better than the writers of WWE. Well, no, I'm the writer. I'm the writer. They just they just determine the matches. But nice shoes is a nice start. That's right. Hey, Fallen, you know what? You want to join the greatness era? Gory Buster! My God, Sir Pizza is taking it to Listwitz tonight. He really is. That is concrete that he is slamming him on. Gory Buster, super power bomb, and now he's up top on top of the crate. Nope, just posing a little bit. Fallen, you can join Greatness there and get some cool shoes. If Fable were here, she'd be asking about the shoes. It writes who wins, right? Or is this thing really rigged? Well, it, it does write who wins, but it's my ability to be able to manipulate who wins into a storyline. Oh, wow, Liswitz using his own damn head to take down Sir Pizza. Shiz. Crocs! How do you get a croc emote? Listy walks around in those shoes and nothing else. Oh, Liswitz finds himself inside of Trip H's office. I want to stream 2K20, but they have hurt me too badly. Oh, look at this! Oh! Wow! Flip through power bomb in front of Trip. No, no red, never Crocs. Oh yeah, Crocs in bed. Crocs in bed. Sir Pizza! Stuffed! Crust! How is that not it? How is that not the end of the match? Dude, you've dropped him on his head. You've slammed him on his face. You've broken his back. How is Listwitz not down? That is the power and the strength of the Greatness Era. Always wear Crocs. Even got Winter Crocs. Sir Pizza. Listy's head is too padded with knowledge. Oh, yeah. Every time he hits, just pff, ampersand. Pff, uh, iambic pentameter. Sir Pizza's meets the desk. Trip H. Crocs in bed. Those are grounds for divorce. Not in Fallen Angel Land. She's like, whatever. Keep bringing it on. We've got, you know, 96 kids. We've got to have at least another one. Leave them Crocs on. It makes me ooh gooey. GE can suck a nut. <laughs> A walnut? Oh, sending Sir Pizza for a ride. Definitely Liswitz is on a, on a uh, um, never mind. I was going to say on a roll, but he's, he's not. He's been taken to the, meeting the desk right in front of Trips. Trips just cross-armed. He's like, hmm, what is going on? What's over here? 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 What could be over here? How about here? Hmm. Listwitz dropping Sir Pizza on his neck. Raising hands. 
Uh, get him to divide by his zero. His head will explode. You can't, you can't beat Listy until you, until the math is out of his head and solve for the four-letter word. And now Listy wants his meat and trips desk and Sir Pizza's up top high. Huracan Rana downsides. Uh, he looks like Marcel Wallace from Pulp Fiction. Does he look like a bitch? Rough, rough riding. Plants down list with Sir Pizza finally gets a little bit of vengeance there. Is that the same shirt as yesterday? Hell yeah. Hell yes it is. I didn't call on you. What do you, wait, Fable Vixen. Nah, uh -uh. I didn't call on you. Just having a conversation with H about how to build pizza. Uh, tell Listy a paradox, instant win. Chaos. And I'll get you a matching pair. Gotta treat my girl good. Boo. Sassy mattress. I'm buying. Check it out. Sir Pizza gets a little bit of redemption against Liswitz tonight. Backstage brawling. And definitely, definitely Sir Pizza earned that one. 100%. Well, Killer Matt was waiting. And then we did that impromptu match. No, no, if Killer Matt's still here or not. I wish someone would buy me pizza. Good match, Liswitz. Come on, buddy. I'll go buy you a Grand Slam. You bitches. Wait, why am I in tag team? You bitches going to damn Denny's? And you didn't invite me? I'm sad now. I'm a sad, sassy mattress. I vote I hope. Denny's, I hop. Same damn thing. Nuh uh. Uh uh. And I hope they have four different flavors of syrup on the table. They don't do that at Denny's. Then Waffle House, bitches. It's cheaper anyway and absorbs the alcohol. What am I looking for? Not King NorCal. Whoops. Here we go. Waffle House. Uh, you know it. International House of Pancakes. IHOP keeps burning down here. Literally. Well, don't go there. Go to Waffle House. Uh, yes, Fable, you have a question. Yes, I got me a sugar mama. Raises her motherfucking hand. I don't talk like that. What the? Fuck. Um, yes, I do. <laughs> Waffle House is scarce. What? I can go for pancakes, big bro. I want some pancakes, too. All right, your next match tonight. And now I want some pancakes. I don't know why we always end up talking about food in the show. Like, if I have food, cool. If I have one of the unboxes, fine. But, um, can I have your shirt? Okay, thanks. <laughs> you really don't want this shirt. This shirt is old. Like, I want to say this shirt is from 2010 or 2011, something like that. It's an old shirt, and I wear it a lot. Um, do you have a heavyweight title somewhere? Yeah, but I, I put it back on the wall. Um, yeah, I've got the big gold belt from WCW, and I've got the uh, United States Championship from WCW. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on. There we go. I got this one. This one, this one is not attached to the wall. So yeah, we got this one. But to be fair, this is the plastic one. This is this is the plastic one. I, I've got the I've got the the real deal WCW ones that are actually WCW, not WWF on the back. Uh, see here in the game, lol. But I would enjoy seeing it. Uh, cookie cutter. Stop talking about food. Make me so damn hungry. Woo! Cookie cutter. It is a cookie cutter belt. It is. But I like it. Um. It, it, I mean, it definitely is. But I, I do enjoy it, and uh, I got it for Christmas, so I like it. Food. Think about food. Think about food. Someone, please, for the love of all fucking holy, donkey punch the sky into next week. Do you not know anything about Joey Munkin Undead? Joey Undead is king of SCW. I know people talk about food and I'm here like, man, this plain bread looks good right now. 
<laughs> I wish the characters would take out more than two belts. Dude, it was what, 2009, 2010? You could wear one and carry one in each hand. Why don't they do that anymore? Why is that not a thing? The fuck game? Oh, it just makes me so angry. It makes me so angry that they have so dumbed down these video games for... I don't even know why. How hard could it be to program a dude to wear one and carry two? I don't know. Uh, just cook my first roast. Did you butter your biscuits too? I bet you butter your biscuits real good. Oh, country crock. Uh, it's very hard now. Look at the glitches. Wait, what? Am I glitching? More like Austin Aries when he had about eight belts at one time. Look at this. Killer Matt walking to the ring tonight sporting his ZCW attire because he is part of ZCW. He is on Showtime's team and he is also wearing the Holiday Tag Team Championship that he won back just this Sunday in a three-way damn dance. Those are Cheetos hot. Because 2K hates you. That's true. Um, who needs a donkey punch? Uh, all I can think about is pancakes now. Does that make me Canadian? Only if you put maple syrup on it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> no, W2K. Oh, that's true. That is fapping words. That's true. That's true. If wrestling is fake, how do they pick who to win? Yeah. Just recreate trash can sorcerers for 2K. <laughs> All of GE needs a serious donkey punch. Mr. Lethal C5K, he has always, since day one, bled SCW. The proudest man to ever don three damn letters. SCW is in his DNA. C5K. Lethal! Lol heavy. Lol heavy. Look at it. By the way, because 2K20 dropped several people, uh, they are in the game. You would lose a fair number of your themes and attire choices. True, but that's why we're still doing 2K19. The fuck? Man, what the? I don't understand why you made that sentence. Please, cellophane man. Do you need to eat some bread? Why? Why would you? I don't understand. Lethal isn't injured in the sass anymore. He isn't sassy because he didn't have a championship. Hang out to dry by Killer Matt. Boy! Uh, let's see here. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. That's all I got. Uh, let's see here. Who are we rooting for, Lady Bells? Lady Bells. Sir Pizza, you are on Team Red. You are also working with Team Purple. You want Team Blue to go away. I challenge you in <laughs> Rocket League. Bring it! Well, at least that's more relevant than whatever the hell you were talking about earlier. Bringing up something random. Look at that! Killer Matt with a jump over kick to the side of the head. Not Joey. Poor Joey. Fallen! Thank you so damn much for those 125 bits. I, I, will, I will definitely have a lot of balls to throw in the damn ball pit uh, the next show. By the way, let me ask you guys something since you're here. Uh, let's go Zohan! <laughs> I hate you with a heart. Uh, I'm rooting for anyone not GE. So, what do you guys think? Yes? Yeah, definitely since Fable Vixen's here. Because I, I wouldn't ask this question if she wasn't here. So what do you guys think of wait until next week for the season finale of Nerdy Effect? What do you guys think about that? And we throw in another episode next Wednesday. So you technically get two more episodes before the season finale. Yes, my one fan. <laughs> we'll let the fan decide. I won't be watching because I hate you. I don't want it to end. So we can do it. We can do it this Friday, which is what I planned on. Or we can wait till next week, next Friday, when we've done with the pay-per-view... And we throw in a bonus Wednesday episode, and then we do the finale on Friday. Yes, wait. So you get two more episodes, 
Subzilla! Uh, if you're feeling, if if you feel like you are up for it, oh, I don't feel like I'm up for any damn anything. Finish the pay per view first. That's what I was thinking. Cause I was looking at it, man. Cause the the pay per view is the final thing that we're gonna do for a while for wrestling. So it, it made it didn't make a lot of sense to me to finish the show and then finish the wrestling. Super kick. Joey hits lethal in the face. Here comes Killer Matt. All oh, six foot nine of him. One. Killer Matt just gonna watch it. Uh, great to see you, Subzilla. Hit us pay-per-view first. All right. Uh, wouldn't mind waiting for New Year's as long as the stream still happens. Well, okay, so we're still going to do a Christmas episode. We're still going to do a New Year's episode. That's going to happen. That, that, that always happens. We always do that. Um, and I usually do a, um, a, like, a Black Friday stream, too. So we might do something close to that. Who is the dirty effect? Well, Fallen, let's be honest. You haven't been here for a while, so you might not know. Um, you could be like WWE and have their biggest show of the year happen at the start of the year. Well, that's the fiscal year, you know, because taxes in April and stuff. Ringside! Wow, we rarely see that, dude. We rarely see that. You got you got attacked by the fish stick, dude. Ringside, thank you so much, buddy. Write your name down. You'll get a ball on the next show. Actually, you get a couple balls anyway, because because of the damn host you throw up. Um, ringside. That's right. Make sure you guys check out Ringside. Lethal. Focusing up on Killer Matt. Killer Matt's here. Uh, what was your question? Uh, so you t uh, so you take off November, December. Generally, I do. Generally, I take off November and December in my normal nerdy effect streams and stuff. What the hell was that? Joey super kick to Killer Matt. Lady Bells. Man with four balls cannot walk. One, two. Joey undead greatness era. Four. Back to back to back to back wins tonight. Dude. Dude. Lady Bells just earned a new 5K bit badge. Damn. Damn. Jesus of Christ. Why is the nerdy effect? Where is the nerdy effect? How is the nerdy effect? Well, I can answer all that with just one word for you, Fallen. Jizzy. Lady Bells. The hell? That's three damn ball, two ball, two balls for Lady Bells. Here is your winner, okay, Jizzy lowered everybody to one except GE. You guys can see the stats before I before I start the show. You guys can see it all. This won't happen on Thursday by any means necessary. Ooh, Showtime calling it out. Wow, four back to back with Lady Bells. Thank you so damn much. So, um, I, I guess we're all in consensus about pushing it to next week. It makes sense. We're going to do the pay-per-view all week, and I'm going to throw in a Wednesday show. So on Wednesday show next week, the Beat Cop will return. Jizzy, I get it now. Joey Undead, your wiener. And Greatness Era wins again. Jizzy, I get it now. Kona! Kona, 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 Kona. How are you doing tonight, Kona? going on with you excuse me all right we've got ourselves a normal match in between of all this uh yes Kona, you're raising your hand what's going on i still need my rematch your rematch for what what are you rematching the greatest kona that ever coned <laughs> oh me versus you all right we'll do well that'll be our dark match tonight then that'll be our dark match Here we go. Oh, hell yeah. Kona, you need to send me a, a clip of you saying, oh, hell yeah, so I can push a damn button and have, oh, hell yeah, talked. Kona, great to see you. 
Heavy, heavy D going for a spinny spin spin. Spock, are you still here? Calling all Spock. Calling all Spock. Ew, ew, ew. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Yes, please do, because I want it. I, I want I want that. Because in, instead of... Or... Don't make me mad. We can have... Oh, hell yeah. I'm confused, so here's the thing. The hell is that? It looks like a picnic bench with a tongue. Yep. Spock, do I owe you a spin from last night at the very end of the show? Uh, you need the audio, Vixen. Excuse She doesn't say excuse me, though. I say excuse me. She types excuse me. She doesn't say it. She says, fuck your chicken straps. It just showed up on my emotes. Me? It looks like it looks like a like a like a pew or a tent with a tongue. I don't know. Ringside laughing, Mr. Bros, the Platinum King. <laughs> what? Over 250 platinum trophies on the PlayStation. He had them melted down and injected into his skin. That's why he's got that platinum shine, baby. Did work, God damn it! I just subscribed. Wait, what? What did you do? No, 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 no. Not this time. I thought I earned. I thought somebody earned it. Somebody earned it right at the end during the the title main event. I didn't want to stop it because it was so close to the end. I can't remember who it was. I thought it was Spock. Um, every time you say what, it makes me think of what a burger. What a burger, dude! The sauce, the spicy ketchup. Dimey. What's going on, Dimey? Uh, so what do you get out of Cheers? I get beers, baby! Cheers and beers! Woo woo! Nail me! I got my I got my uh, football hat on tonight, and this is like this is a legit old old hat of mine. Look at that, man! The brim's all shooting through. It's dirty. It's gross. Like this is. This is my hat, man. I love this hat so much. It has been, it has been used and abused. I'm good. Work made me tired. Um, yes. I need a ball. Why do you need a ball? I don't understand. I miss Whataburger. Me too. I say it on stream, and you started in <laughs> imitating it, and it sounds like I sneeze, which is way different than how I say it. Get it right, okay? Like, sorry, I say, this is how I talk. My name is Fable Vixen, and I like to chew bubble gum like this. Fuck it, check out that. Oh, that's how it's supposed to look. Uh, <laughs> see here, blasphemy. I got two balls for you. <laughs> Dirty and gross. Yep, that's a Raiders hat. <laughs> Uh, we have a burger joint called Feltner's Whataburger, not related to the actual chain Whataburger. They're amazing. Oh, that's funny that they copied it like that. I just subscribed to you right now. Why didn't it show up then? Let me, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wrong button, stupid. Don't be clicking stuff that doesn't subscribe. Hang on. It's not up to date. It won't, it won't be up to date. Your hat hurts my eyes. <laughs> oh, Showtime picked up a ball spin. Oh, I owe Metallica Nuck one. That's who I owe the ball spin to. It's family owned. I guess Dusty and uh, BJ went to school with the owner's twin grandson. Interesting. This crowd sucks. Sorry. That's right, babe. We know Fable Vixen. I got the zero second. Did you get zero? Wow. 
So Showtime picked it up. Yeah, for some reason it's not showing it. I don't know why it's not showing it though. Sir Pizza, I believe you. I I 100% believe you. Um, you did tier one, right? Just a one count, Bros versus Jonesy. Jonesy from Liverpool. Look it up, Jizzy. So many people were after that spin. Oh, I saw it. I looked up and saw it. Uh, they're literally bleeding. Wait, what? Honestly, 2K crowds are more better. Oh, there it is! I told you I believed you, and it just now came in. Dude! Dude, what a delay! Damn! Bros got caught in the ropes as he's taking down Jonesy. One-on-one -on -one match of this sucky crowd. The crowd got the... Got the wind sucked out of his Joey in the Greatness Era. Picked up an entire clean sweep. Yo, internet sucking. My internet's fine. What are you talking about? Wait, hang on. Oh, you know why? It, it's not It's not my internet. It's not my internet. Uh, it's because I was doing three things at once. What the hell? It's your bot. Look at this. Jonesy called out his shorts twin, Samoa Joe. <clears throat> and now Samoa Joe is intimidating bros. Jonesy! Bros! Oh no, bros didn't see it! They're wearing the same damn shorts. I unfollow. Do you believe me? I don't believe you on the fine dime. You would never un unfollow. You love it here. Massive surge lag tonight. It has to be. It has to be. Perfect back body drop right there. Showtime, I owe you a spin before you fall asleep. Yeah, let me get this up and going, baby. There you go, Showtime. Here is your spin. Uh, I am following because I hate you. <laughs> sure you do. It's going to be a count out. Bros needs to get back in. No ball for show. Uh, show, 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 show. Jonesy. Waiting for bros to get back in. Some more running, everybody. Uh, Sir Pizza Dude, thank you so much for the resub. Look at this. Bros caught him. Take down, but the ref is down, too. Welcome to the Nerds. are going to find us. <laughs> Another catch. Wow. Bros is definitely in control of the hairy man from across the pond. Sir Pizza Man, thank you so much, dude. And uh, we'll, we'll take... We'll take that subscription and apply it to your win factor. That's why you beat Listwitz tonight. Does that mean that Lady Bells might win at the pay-per-view? Oh, he's got him in the trophy rack. The trophy rack is up. No, Jonesy's not going to submit. I'm so happy my plan worked. What's going on, South? Don't break your PC and fable yourself. No, everything's good. Everything's good. Um... I was gonna ask something. Who the hell? Uh, oh, Killer Cutie must not be here. Killer Cutie must be doing uh, internet searches on Rose McGowan's nipples or something. Uh, see you, Silva man. Thanks for unfollowing. Hope you never come back. <laughs> Subzilla prison durst. It's great to see you, Subzilla. Hope you're doing fine. How are you feeling tonight? How are you feeling tonight? I'm here. I'm looking at <laughs> looking at Rose. Jesus. Super spin from Jonesy. Bros is down. These two will not fight at the pay-per-view. So they're putting on a hell of a match tonight because this might be the last time you see them in a long time. German suplex. Jonesy taking Bros to Suplex City. No. Clothesline takes him up over and inside out. Now Jonesy says that's it. Going for the pin. One. Two. Jonesy picks up a win tonight. Very sad he didn't win. I think you got paid, Jazzy. You haven't been sleeping. Too stuffy up here. Whoa, hang on. The comment jumped perfect. I think you got paid, Jazzy. You might want to check your bank account. Uh, <laughs> I'm okay. Our AC broke, so I haven't been sleeping. Too stuffy here. What's wrong with the AC? A Rose McGowan's nipple spectacular. Damn, now I have to go look. That's right. So after the pay-per-view, you're taking a break. Yes, Don. Yes, officially. 
Um, no wrestling for at least a couple of weeks. We'll, we'll do a um, we'll do a Thanksgiving um, probably holiday championship, and we'll probably do a Black Friday championship. Um, I think there's another holiday in there. Uh, we'll definitely do one for um, like Hanukkah and stuff. Not all the nights. We'll just do one all for all Hanukkah. Uh, gonna do one for Christmas as well. There's gonna be a lot of tag team tournaments going on. Um, guys, Greatness Era always has a plan for what they do. That's right, that's right. Uh, don't do it. What am I not doing, Killer Cutie? Uh, those eyes, though. Wait, what? what is that? Pay-per-view is next week. Yeah, pay-per-view is next week. All right, I got to see what the hell this is. While Jonesy is celebrating, my internet's going to take a quick dump real quick. Y'all just, Y'all just live with it. notice it. I did not even notice it. Jones a year winner. Um, who did the, wait, what did the pizza say when it went out on a date? I never sausage a beautiful face. Go to your room. Oh, bad manners will be involved. Uh, yes, bad manners. You guys are team, uh, hang on. You guys are team ZCW. Yes, you guys are already there. You're locked in. And when I say locked in, you're locked in for a championship match. Uh, time to ride the truck. What's going on, weirdo? Uh, I'm thinking the compressor broke. Uh, the fact that the entire unit and lines froze up. Freon must be leaking out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that doesn't necessarily the compressor broke. Not necessarily. Um, you could have a leak and uh, maybe a quick charge. Do you have... Um, uh, do you, do you have electric heat? Because if it's if it's not, you can definitely get by by charging it up and getting through the winter. Uh, Rose will burn out your retinas. Oof. Why are you oofing? Nightbot. Um, oh, no, 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 no. The, the holiday titles don't work that way. The holiday titles work with randomness. I anybody can be a team at any given night. Like, normal tag teams never are paired up on holiday championships. We're talking only the pay-per-view. You, you guys actually get a title shot at the pay-per-view. All right, speaking of title shots, let's see if we can grab this right tonight. Sweet! That's not what I wanted. Triple threat tornado tag, right? That's what we want. Me? Rebel? Not entirely sure. Regardless, whatever is wrong with it, it's up to the apartment manager how to fix it. Oh, well, never mind. I, pfft. Yeah, tell him to hurry the fuck up, too. Um, it wouldn't be weird if it still chose us. Well, I mean, it could happen. I mean, the, you know, randomness of the wheel spin could happen, but... Your main event tonight. Y'all lied to me. They're not spectacular. They were nice, but not spectacular. So who has spectacular nipples then? Hey, Koala. How have you been, dude? Uh, no Vets Day Holiday Championship? That's not American. The Fallen? The first time that you've said anything in this chat in over three damn months and you're attacking me? Ban him. Uh... <laughs> What's going on, Koala? How the hell have you been, man? What's been going on with you? Do you have Android or iPhone? Both. Um, so who has spectacular nipples in your opinion, Heavy D? Does somebody say tornado tag? Praise Durst! Me, Killer Cutie, does have spectacular nipples. Um, she can draw them for you, and uh, we can put them down here next to the TMNT thing exploding. Uh, get on that, Killer Cutie. Lana! I haven't seen Lana's nipples. Where have you seen Lana's nipples? Uh, put a bag on Lana. Uh, it's been good. Long time no see. Fuck Android. <laughs> um, good, good. I'm glad you're doing well, Panda. Koala. 
I'm trying not to say penis, all right? I'm trying not to say penis. Is Bannon Fallen? <laughs> Paige. I have seen Paige's nipples, but I don't remember them. So they must not be that good. Penis! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the greatest hair drafted Lola. Yes, Paige's porn tape was awful. Yeah, they really could have shot some better damn angles on it. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, you love it. You know it. Uh, Penis Koala. What? What a name. Oh yeah, man, dude. Koala's old school. Koala's old school. Oh, has anyone seen Sunny like lately or like in general? Cause it's it's been a while. Loading up the main event tonight. Gets the lotion. What do you mean get the lotion? You don't get the lotion up in here. You get hosted. You get the whiskey dick. That's what you get, baby. Hey, Ringside, thank you so much for that host, buddy. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. You said penis twice already. Your ship has sailed. I don't know what you're talking about. Sonny has a porn? I, uh, um, show's canceled. We're done. I, uh, that's it. That, that's it. We're, we're done. We're done. We're done. All right, we're out. <laughs> uh, Lola's my friend. We had fish tacos. I love Lola. She was streaming tonight. Today's her birthday, by the way. Today is Liquid Lola's birthday. <laughs> that deserves a ban. <laughs> um, it's fat sunny, though. So what? China the better. Uh, whiskey dick won't moisturize my dry skin, but you can eat it. Your ZCW Women's Tag Team Champions, Bombshell, Bubbles, and Liquid Lola. Her way to the ring. Make sure you type into Google Liquid Lola to see who the hell we're actually talking about. You can Google it. She's that damn famous. Happy birthday, Lola. Oh, don't make me laugh. My eyeballs hurt. I, there's no way I can make you laugh enough to where your eyeballs pop out. Trust me, I've tried. It's not going to happen. Will Lola win on her birthday? Ooh. You get that cheap whore off my Batman. <laughs> off your Batman. Damn, that's funny. <laughs> oh, I want to be a woman tag team champion. Uh, Penis Kamala. That's funny. When I get sick, everything hurts, including my eyeballs. I'm so sorry to hear that. That does suck. And her opponent first. We made a little goof up on Monday. Oh, shocker, me making it a goof up. But Vanity is actually part of SCW, not ZCW, with her tag team partner, Wicked Ruby. Together they are a so vain. I'll retire from Fortnite if GE beats me. Fortnite? That's when the sleep is nice, though. Hello, Trance. Hey, what's going on, Trancy? Settle down, Fallen. Pizza and champagne. That's classic. Sounds good to me. Is that a selfie stick? Oh, yeah, it's a selfie stick. Wicked Ruby, of course, married to the famous Dr. Jekyll and Vanity. Got that tuck tape working really good. <coughs> Boo, that's my partner. Was your partner. <coughs> Damn. Lola's my friend. I cannot root for her because she's the greatest. Otherwise, Lady Bells will throw ninja stars at me. Yeah, she's your friend. It's her birthday, and you're going to root against her. Damn it, Sir Pizza. You are conflicted tonight. So girls in the right t-shirt for the win. I don't need ninja stars. I have a baseball bat. It hurts more. And here we go. The newest women's tag team. Enjoying the chilly weather, Red? Nerdy nude on e wait. Nerdy nude on eBay for $9.95. It's fake and we want famous. What the hell, weirdo? <laughs> they are Haley Wayne, the poop witch! And little French lady together with their powers combined, they are Melody. and little French lady destroyer. 
Lola for the win. It's her birthday. <laughs> that or a switch. You go out there and you cut me a switch. Tires. What? Saw that one coming. I like when women in the main event, they make everything interesting. I agree, Koala. I 100% agree, especially this three-way dance, man. Um, wait. <laughs> Them name is Nail It Koo. Yes, weirdo. Haley Wayne is the poop witch. I see she's not streaming right now. She is a streamer right here on Twitch. Lady French Lady. She uh, she actually lives in Canada, but she is from France. She's actually in France, right, meow? I don't know what time it is in France. I'm guessing somewhere around 4 a.m. Here we go. Purple, red versus blue and gray. Blue and gray is the greatness era, and I'm telling you right now, tonight... There has been four matches, and of those four matches, all Greatness Era wins. Greatness Era has won every single match tonight. Will they win the finale and go clean sweep on this Tuesday? Sounds about right. Four or five, okay. Oh my god, seriously, seriously. Barely noticed that girl grinding on back. <laughs> uh, that's why Batman has the cape. That's right. That's right. He's 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 covering up the bone her. Quick takedown right there. Wicked Ruby. Former was it three-time Angels Tag Team Champion? And of course the reigning ZCW Tag Team Champions. It didn't count, but Lizzie lost. No, anything that's unsanctioned like that doesn't count. It doesn't officially count. I thought it was Officer Dick, Dick Spectacular. So what I said earlier, Killer Cutie, is that since we're pushing the finale of the show off till next Friday, then we're going to do another show, not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday, and the Beat Cop is going to come back for Wednesday show. Alexa Bliss injured again. Really? That sucks. That sucks. She just needs to be, like, in a bubble. Speaking of bubble, Bubbles is putting the boot to Wicked Ruby upside down as vanities get jaw jacked. Get a beat cup. <clears throat> yes, no timetable on return. She needs to take a solid break. Just go away for a while. Heal. <clears throat> Vanity with a run and take down a little French lady as. <clears throat> Damn, sorry. Sorry. Once you get the lump in the throat, it's hard for it to go away. Uh, let's see here. What's the injury? Nerdy can't spiel, speak. Oh, look at that. Good job, Undefined Dime. Injury is dick in the mouth. Does she have a porn too? Did you hear the making of a new Time Cop movie? Why? So sup, nerdy? Still hiding that thin in hair? Hope you're well, brother. Oh, you know it, baby. Look at all that thin super hair. Look at the dot right there, man, from my tight hat. <laughs> Lol, dime. Yes, yes, yes. I love it when a smart ass comes together and fails. Nerdy can't speak and I can't spell. Together we are. No speaking, no spell. Uh, shoulder injury. What was she doing to do a shoulder injury? She, she. I mean, she does that little tiny flip off the top, but that's about it. Liquid Lola working on Little French Lady. They have battled in the past. So who are you guys going for? Northern Lights with Liquid Lola. <clears throat> Rope break. <laughs> Together we are called the Dumbasses. Hmm, new tag team. The Losers and the Dumbasses. Look at this. Merde. Team ZCW is all alone with Lola. Lola's up over and out taking a nap. It is her birthday after all. Oh my god! Little French lady just suicide dive and landed on Lola. Two outside, two inside, bubbles the bruiser weight, working on vanity, turning her around. Oh wow! Bubbles wants a piece of Haley so damn bad. Just knocked her off of Wicked Ruby's shoulders. Bubbles trying to turn her over. Get her that full Boston crab. Wicked Ruby's just gonna watch it. Le Flair go guts! Wow! 
What just happened? Haley submitted! <laughs> wow! Watch this knockoff right there. Haley landed on her face, Bubbles counteracted, put her in the full Boston Crab, Wicked Ruby was stunned, Haley had nowhere to go, she tapped out tonight. Tuesday Night Turbo has been a clean sweep for the greatness era. You start out with Red Walrus, Heroes beat Cellophane Man, Joey Undead beat Killer Matt, Mrs. Red beat Fallen, The Bombshells beat Maraday, and so vain. It has been an absolutely hellacious ride for the greatness era. That, my friends, that, my friends, is why the greatness era wants their own show. They just steamrolled the competition. They were in a three-way dance the entire night, and they beat both SC and ZCW the entire night. That's why they separate themselves. That's why they are an 18-strong faction, and that is why next week they will fight so damn hard in order to have their own show. Proof is in the pudding. The pudding is served. Eat up, Nerd Circle to ya. We out. Once again, no glorious song. Loved it. Uh, that'll change next week. Uh, rigged. <laughs> Greatness continues. That was a twist. It was. Uh, follow with a wow. Uh, damn nice. Dark match. We know. Sometimes you just can't stop greatness. That's true. Uh, who are they going to fight when it's only them? No one to bully then. Let's see what they're going to Mrs. Red stole one. I did the work. They could have their own show. No one will watch it. They'll just be circle jerking. Okay. Okay. I'm just... Okay. All right. We're going to do one dark match tonight. One dark match. Every day. I'm, I'm not going to give away any spoilers, so because I don't know which way it's going to go. I, I just, I don't know which way it's going to go. So, I mean, I've got, I've got contingency plans for both. So, you guys just going to have to wait and see. All right, here we go. Dark match. Uh, boo, greatness ever sucked. Boo. The script for next year is getting wrote as we speak for greatness. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I do have I do have ideas wrote down for future shows as to what I want to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know until everything's done. Dude, it's, it's any given Sunday and Sunday is all week next week. So anything can happen. I, I don't know what's going to happen. So I, I can't, I can't even speculate because Every match will be a point. And you're talking when there's 30-something matches? I don't even know how you score that. Dark match! It's really rare, because I'm rarely in dark matches, so it's it's kind of fun for me. <laughs> I, I I don't get to wrestle very often, so it's, it's fun that somebody challenged me. What's the score between these two? Um, I've won twice, and then... So, so ringside challenged me, I won, and then we challenged backstage, I want to say Wednesday, and I won, and then on Thursday, it was a tag team match, and he and uh, Sixth won. Here's a fast one. Is it your nipples? Uh, I think we know how this will end. I'll check it out in a second, Killer Kitty. Shh. out there and here comes the master of the public flashlight <laughs> greatness era ensues through the blood of my cell thank you subzilla i don't exist Shh, fallen's making a comeback 
Hey, what's going on, Aphasia? Look at that nerd circle. Look at that nerd circle. Lady Bells! <laughs> I love that! Killer Cutie, that's great! I love that you threw the nerd circle in the back, too. You are incredible! I seriously thought it was your nipple for some reason. Walmart greeter extraordinaire! And there he is. Ringside streams last night. Took the barbecue championship away from the greatness era. You know what I should have done? I should have made this for the barbecue championship. That's what I should have done. But he took the championship away from the greatness era. And that is the only title. The only title that is not held by a member of the greatness era. The only one. You mean given to him. Wink, wink. There's a reason why I'm rooting for you, Jizzy. And not the greatness. The pen is mightier than the sword. What title are you? I'm I'm the ZCW Tag Team Champion. And that's that's the belt that you guys will be fighting for next week. Is that belt that I'm wearing. I'm going to shine my 11, foot, 11 and a half foot boot and shove it straight up. You candy ass. Well, I need it. Yo, oh, Jesse Dan Red, everybody in the house. Good to see you, Aphasia. How's life treating you, buddy? It was my nipple. I doubt I'd show everybody and their mama. Well, but it's it's art at that point. Whenever you draw it, it becomes art. It doesn't become pornographic. It becomes art. And it, all it is is this. It's just the areola. Um... It's like a damn Coldplay concert in that arena. <laughs> Doubtful, but I have dreams, damn it. Fallen, uh, I believe you compete. Where is this at? Yeah, Fallen, you compete tomorrow night in a um, in a standard match. I'm getting over the common cold right now. Well, you know what cures the common cold, right? Cowbell. Uh I love mom or MILF nipples. What are the difference between a mom nipple and a normal nipple? A non-mom nipple. Opposite of popular belief. Wait, what? Successfully screwed over J-Dub. True, you did, South. You did. All right, here we go. Table match. Oh, ringside. Playing a little bit of mind games as he slides out to grab a table. Dark match tonight. Punch to the table. Chest slap. Oh, and then take the table to the face. Moms, I guess, are carrots in comparison. Like an orange vegetable. The nice and soft like cookies. What? My whole point is why ringside is the, your new barbecue champion. Okay. Because <laughs> you screwed over J-Dub? Off the ropes, ducked under, ringside, looking to make it two to two. But technically, in one-on-one -on -one competitions, it's two to zero. He only beat me in the tag team. That's it. I've been on three doses of cowbell all week. I shall up it to four or five. You got to up at least four or five. It's doctor recommended. Doctor recommended. And ringside, I'm so happy for you. Mm, you mean nipple tassels, Dan? Chest slap. First man to go through a table, loses. What do you know, McFly? Killed with the same gun. <laughs> what do you know? Two McFlies with the same gun. I don't think he said killed. I don't think he said killed. Pretty sure. Two McFlies, same gun. I don't think he said killed. Whatever helps you sleep at night, South. Off the ropes, playing a little bit of rope a dope. Sends me back in by my hair, you bastard. By the way, ringside rocks a cool mullet. That's too jizzy. A little too rough. Table set up in the corner. Quick stomp. And now multiple punches in the face. You got a brawl. You shh. You can't get the draft title if you're lucky. <laughs> it's, it's still a thing, the draft title. How many times do you think Paige was shot with... 
Homer's makeup gun set to whore. Oh, homie, you've got it set to whore. Uh, a lot. <laughs> Mali? Uh, and it's, I own the police. I guess it's poetic justice. Two McFlies with the same gun. Thank you, Spock. I didn't think he said killed. I was pretty sure he didn't say killed. Close on up under the bottom rope. Ringside just getting his bearings about him. Last night, one-on-one, -on -one, won the barbecue championship. Now trying to win a table match. Chest slap. Pretty sure. I know, I know my Back to the Future. I know my Back to the Future. Do you know your Back to the Future? He's damn right. I just looked it up right now. Look at this. because No, just a front face takedown. Well, Spock is an encyclopedia of randomness anyway. Except for Kid Rock. Not a clue about Kid Rock. But anything else. Anything else. You could say, hey Spock, what was that 1960s space movie? And he'd be like, oh, you mean this? Look at him up. Two to two. Table match over. Ringside wins. That's heavy. Mullet is pronounced Malay. I might know Back to the Future. And to be honest, I didn't think he would win because I dominated him with that epic turnaround. <laughs> Congrats! Two to two, baby. Two and two. We'll be back in two and two. <laughs> that would have been a successful title defense. Yeah, but your nerves would have got to you. You don't know what would have happened. What do you think, Ringside? Let me ask you a question right now. Right now. Talk to you man to man. Man to man. Man to man. You just saw your performance. Would you be willing to put your championship on the line again, right now, against a mystery opponent? Your choice. Right now. Barbecue championship on the line right now. Hey, Spock. What was the 1960s space movie, Spock? Oh, you mean Star Trek? I was in it. <laughs> Don't do it! Ow! I slipped. I will step up to it? Ooh, South Rebel says that he would. Of course South Rebel would. He's a fighting champion. Do it, do it, do it, do it. What do you think? You're, 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 you're a fighting champion. Just ouch, babe. Wait, what'd she say? Oh, Killer Kitty, thank you so much for being here. Have a great night. Have a great night. Thank you so much for your amazing art, by the way. Oh, let's see. Oh, the draft title. Let's see here. I mean, I wouldn't be a true champion if I didn't, so may the best man win. Okay. All right. So right now, fighting champion ringside off two back-to-back -back wins, back-to-back -back wins. We're going to do a championship match right now. Championship match. We'll even make it a dark match. Fight, 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 fight. You said random. That's random. Mrs. Pizza just said, come to bed. I screamed out, not yet. What's she wearing? Uh, put me in, coach. Let me prove her wrong. Oh, fall it. <laughs> <clears throat> random is clicking the random button. Is there a random button? I didn't know there was a random button. Oh, shit. Ringside, hold on, hold it with all your might. 
Well, here's an interesting fact is that Fallen is not part of any faction either. So I didn't know there's a random button. Otherwise, I would have done it. But no, I, I saw Fallen in the chat and I was like, he technically doesn't really get to wrestle for much right now. So let's try. That's kind of my thought. I was like, just a random one. I didn't know there's a random button. Coldplay Encore Show. <laughs> I'm going to go get a walk in before company comes over. See you next time. Cellophane Man, thank you so much for being here. Uh, make sure you click that uh, follow button. That way you can come back to the show and don't miss it since that you, uh, you unfollowed and all that. Ringside, I gave it to you. Don't let me down. Yeah, but the random, to be honest, the random might have pulled up like Braun Strowman or something. Ask her! <laughs> Damn, that was a bluff, boy. I tell you what, look at it. It's Fallen Angel coming down to the ring. Random on custom superstar, superstars. Only you can do that. I didn't know. Fallen! Former Operation Underworld Champion. Ha! That's what you get. You good. You know next time. That's true. That's true, I do. Well, it wasn't going to be me. I already knew that. Coldplay! What's a Coldplay song? Execute Order 66. What's a Coldplay song? Pizza the Hut is executing Jedi. The Schwartz is big. Two matches and they are dark. Rockin' tonight. Let's go CPU this song. All right. We know what he looks like. We done seen him demolish me in a table match. Your final dark match of the night. Barbecue championship on the line. Because a fighting champion never stops fighting. And I like that. I like what South he Rebel has brought to this. Challenger. South Rebel is really the only one who's ever said, dude, I'll fight you tonight and put my title on the line. Win or lose. He's like, cool, bring it on. So, yeah. And I like that Ringside sort of adopted it as well. <laughs> this song is Coldplay? Introducing the champion from parts unknown, weighing in at 285 pounds, he is the Deep South Champion. Barbecue wings on you. Deep South champion. Well, what's more barbecue? Your Jedi tricks won't work on me. Only money. I love that I can inspire people. South, you know you do. It's impromptu title match tonight. Had to write it down. All right, here we go. Oh, Fallen gets stopped by the ref, but Ringside knows what it's all about. Quick takedown goes for the head. Gonna have one more cup of mint hot cocoa before bed, I think. Oh, you classy. You put your pinky up when you drink something? Mint hot cocoa. Ooh. And I'll do the same if I win. Wait, what? Inspire people? You know you're going to have sex while wearing that belt. You already know what you're going to do, Fallen. You'll be like, hey, babe, can we do it when I got my title on? She's like, ew. I'll put my Crocs back on, too. Okay, fine. Uh, I have to say, let ringside. Ooh, Sir Pizza going crazy. Even though I'm part of the Greatness Era, I hope, I hope more newbies do it. Lady Bell's laughing, you know, because she's classy like that. 
Fallen can't get the big man up. Take, ooh, takes an elbow to the face. Ringside fighting streamer. Look at that tall drop kick. Still can't take him off his feet. Fallen, six foot three of pure thinning hair man. DDT right there to the thick haired man. Fallen really doesn't want a title, just wants to have sex. That's all it is. <laughs> 69 kids and counting. Ducks under. Caught him. Tilt a world backbreaker. Fallen going for the quick pin. Barbecue championship on the line. Just one. Crocs. There we go. Mm. <laughs> Classy, get your ass. Shin breaker from the top. Ringside going to work on the systematics. <laughs> Newbie, you want to mess with him, you go through me. Follow the quick takedown. Fallen has tasted championship gold in the past before. Will he gain more? Going for the pin. How tall is ringside? His fighting reminds me of Kane. I want to say ringside's only six foot. I think he's six foot because Fallen's six three. Look at this. He's got him in the taint lock. And you know Fallen doesn't like to shower or put baby powder down there. Just seals in the flavor. I stabbed you first. Matter of fact, I want a bad stage brawl with Fallen. Maybe tomorrow night. Maybe tomorrow night. One. If they want it. Wait, what? If they want what? That's why his ass stinks. <laughs> Mom, Fallen, Mom. Heavy D rooting. Drop kick sort of gets brushed off. Seals in the flavor. <laughs> That's a college humor joke. I can't I can't take it. Look at this. Ringside. Got him up. Takes him down. Just kidding, bro. Just kidding. There's double fallen angels in here. Look at this. Punch in the face. And now he's got him. Oh! That seesaw DDT right there. <laughs> I fight crime in a rubber suit. It really seals in the flavor. Mock of the Trinity coming at you. That's two. Looking for number Trace. Plants him. Ringside's got tricks up his sleeve for days. Fallen, waiting for somebody to come in. Ringside's up. Ringside caught him from behind. He thought it was Brock. It was not. Got him up. Power bomb. Folds him up. Fallen may be down. One, two. Ringside retains. Hey, what's going on, Santi? That is what a fighting champion does. Bingo. I'm just glad you don't look at red penises anymore. I always look at red penises. <clears throat> Damn, he knows Brock, apparently. Do you not know? Do you not know Ringside? Ringside streams for the WWE and AEW and New Japan and Paramount Pictures, apparently. Fallen got distracted. He was in charge. He definitely was in control of this match. He just let that that one thing slip. His mind got distracted. He took the focus off a of ringside. Ringside capitalized. That was it. That's super fun, dude. When a when a chicken dinner. Let's turn those speakers up. Some cold plates. <laughs> is that really Coldplay singing that song? Apparently Coldplay is like cockroaches. That's right. Ringside wants to hear it. South Rebel may be part of Greatness Era, but he is an inspiration to more people around, just like Mr. Ringside. I asked him point blank, would you like to put your tie on the line tonight? Without hesitation, it wasn't like a mmm, ah, ooh, none of that stuff. He says, sure, I'm a fighting champ because my name is Ringside Streams HD2, bitch. And he successfully defended it. And still, the SCW Barbecue Champion Mr. Ringside Streams. Pussy control. Is that really Coldplay singing that though?
I'm just gonna groove to this song for a while. You guys do whatever you want. Alright, so we're gonna go somewhere new tonight. Uh, hopefully you guys do follow this uh, this host right here. Uh, if not, I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is wrestling only. Uh, have a great night. I will see you guys soon. Uh, take care. Be well. And uh, take this nerd circle because it's dangerous to go alone. Boom to ya. Follow the host. Hmm. Maybe don't follow the host. Why didn't that work? Oh. No, not a bad song at all.